Nice, peaceful, relaxing, one enemy at a time. Yeah, it's, it's okay. Everything is fine here. Oh, no, oh, now there's suddenly a, a dozen enemies on screen, all shooting fire at you. Gotta be the Dodge Master. Oh yeah, incidentally, oh no, you cannot shoot past the tiles or grass either. So you have to collect those before you can start firing past them. See that little bird? We, we're just gonna fly right over this. We are in business now, baby. So yeah, if you jump into this water, it's instant KO, and yeah, start over however far I have spawned in the level with the Wimpy Dinky Rock weapon. Alright, see, there's actually a... Alright, didn't finish my thought there. You can hold two flying little icons at the same time, so it looks like there's actual two tiles, one where you only are holding one, and my current one where I have two flying abilities. So yeah, this section is essentially impossible to get through, because jumping and platforming is next to impossible in this game. So the game is so hard right off the bat that it really forces you to find those little flying icons and fly over this entire section anyways, which also exacerbates the problem of you not being able to ever learn how to platform over these stupid lily pads or small platform sections, which as we will see in some upcoming level 4 garbage, we actually do have to jump some tight platforming, oh that was close, some tight platforming is in fact required. Alright, we should be good on level 1 here. So you might notice though, on this first introductory level, I can essentially position myself on the very bottom uh, row, centered and just kind of sit here and fly and be impervious to really anything. So that's why it's so devious by the time we get to level 3. The game intro- oh boy, oh no. The game introduces some enemies that start coming from the bottom of the screen. So interestingly enough, the game is called The Adventures of what? Dino. Ricky. And the ironic thing is there's very little, there's very few dinosaurs in the actual game. Nothing of the enemies that we saw up to this point are dinosaur at all. Finally, the bosses, and only the bosses are dinosaurs. And even in that, there are only two bosses, the Pterodon and Tyrannosaur, that are even dinosaurs. Alright, so now tile set number two. The desert. So instead of flowers, we have these little pots that drop our loot. One strat that I kind of forgot to do there is if you are already powered up, oh boy, and you find a fist icon, you typically want to save that in case you grab it to cause all of the enemies to disappear or, better yet, you get hit and then need to collect it again. 
the interesting thing, see how these bats, they start to spawn on left and right? They they spawn on the, uh, the side you're furthest away from. Those little skull things are a little heat seeker enemy. So if you're only standing in one direction or in one spot, they'll all zoom in for you like homing missile. So you kind of have to be on the move to... Uh... Oh yeah, this flame is one hit KO death. Oh man, oh man. And the sad thing is, notice how I am just naturally walking forward because of the auto scroll. It can get very hazardous to press the back button or even go forward you might accidentally step right into that flame. I'm sure I'll die six million times on a certain upcoming level four course that is considerably harder than this. probably guess what these uh, opening sand pits of doom do to you. I'm sure I'll fall into a few by the end of this playthrough. Yeah, the thing is, when you have enemies on the screen, you want to get rid of them as quick as possible. Because they also they fire like these what these little rocks or something, and the little rocks don't even despawn, even with all of the power ups. So the longer an enemy is on screen, the longer they're going to be firing those little projectiles at you. Oh, incidentally, so see how this wall is perpendicular. If this auto scroll gets me, you get smashed and die. So don't don't let that happen. That's probably honestly the, the end of the run there. We'll, we'll see how I do here. Man, look how slow I am. Yeah, we're going to, we should be able to get to level 3 here on my first attempt. This is two power-ups right there. So we'll be starting with Boomerang, assuming we have an optimal boss number 2 here. we can grab a fist power up pretty early and then at least have a, a reasonable chance oh yeah this these levels right here see see those skulls they come from the so you if you're centered oh no dino ricky why if you're centered they will snipe you from behind ah yes i hate these little zombie enemies you they can't be killed they just like fall down oh man and then when they get up after their little timer expires they fire those things at you all right we have a reasonable chance level three is very difficult though so i probably will still game over here on my first attempt Basically, 
dying or getting hit on level 3 forward is the end of the run. Which is why I didn't reset there. Because level 2 you can usually save yourself. These guys home in on your horizontal, or actually it would be vertical, position. Okay, I think I've missed, dang it, I have, I've missed, usually I just fly over this section. Oh, there it is. Jump! Jump! Oh, man! First tried it. <laughs> Don't ask me to do that again. Alright, yeah, dang it. Unfortunately, since I got hit there, see? Now my little flying power-up is gone. And I think... Oh, I'm stuck! Dodge Master. Good lord, okay. And I should be able to fly past this section now. So don't, don't center yourself, remember. Yeah, otherwise those skulls will... <laughs> Alright, I think I got this. Those skulls will... Oh man! No! Man, I got overconfident. I was, I was getting close there. Look at that, see? 3-4. Man, this game is brutal. <laughs> yeah, those, whatever those black circle things are. Oh man, it's essentially so stinking brutal that you you can't get past it unless you have. Oh my goodness, I jumped that. You can't get past those little roto disc black things unless you have a high high caliber weapon. Wow. Don't mind me. Alright. And before I can't make this final jump here. Man, that was scary. <laughs> yeah, this Cobra... It's annoying. It warps around, so it take, this boss fight takes a long time. Because you only get in a few hits before it like becomes invincible, flashing, and then teleports somewhere else. It's a pre-described uh, teleporting location, I believe, though. So if you memorize the patterns, you can just kind of go where he's going to spawn, but man, see how slow I am? I'm barely crawling along this. See, I can barely even get to this, get in maybe a hit. Oh man. Yeah. Oh man. Legit, I'm surprised I got to level 4-1 on my first attempt here, but I guarantee you, even though there's two power-ups right here, I guarantee you that I will game over promptly on here. So yeah, 
have fun if you don't discover that little flying thing to get through this, first of all. And, and this is the easy part. Trust me, this is the easy part. Alright, so we have to get that flying thing. We have to get through this whole section without taking a hit. Oh, there it is. Right, so see, even though we got through this little bottleneck, we're, we have the boomerang, decent, decent, but we don't have the flying, so I'm going to promptly drown. Certainly not intentionally. Man. Man. This is the moment where you want to punch the developers in the face, though. Like, what, what is this garbage? <sighs> so, say la vie. Lord, I think we did it. Whew, good grief. <laughs> See what I mean, though? Man, I hate these laterally. What? Oh my goodness. Oh. You have to watch every, every direction, every angle. Get me out, get me out, get me out, get me out, get me out. And so notice our, our bosses actually start to reloot. So we start back with the pterodon. So this, this kind of clues you in. You, you pretty much already know what the boss is for. Oh my goodness. For 4-1, 4-2, and 4-3 will be. But what is going to be the final 4-4 boss? So, we kind of have to suffer through this. Oh, I'm stuck! Did you see that? That's another thing I forgot to mention. That it is the case. Oh, man. If you have a sufficiently high enough speed, you can actually clip into objects and get stuck. Yeah, there's nothing I could do there. I was I was too fast. Shoot. I was too fast to go through those one tile little passageways. Just when you get it talks you, it's like, hey. I know there's one more little power up though, right right up here. See if I can get it. Or is it not even possible to shoot? Oh, there it is. Okay. Need a little bit. Oh, shoot. I like how I was like walking over this pit and didn't fall in because it hadn't, 
I don't know when the hitbox activates to be blunt, I really don't. Yeah, this, this part is not fun. And again, is this game fun? Oh man, tell you what. Get to dodge the flames as you're dodging everything else. Good lord, oh man, that was too close for comfort. Oh man, I hate this part. I hate this part so much. Whew. Oh, that back flame. Interestingly enough, see how those pits, they don't even, they're permanently pits. Well, this is not going to end well. Alright, 4-3 is our final green whatever the crap tile set that's supposed to be. Oh yeah, I, that gets me every time. It's right off the bat too. And look, look at what we gotta do. I think there's a hidden old man. Dodge Master! Stupid skeleton iguana. I'll take it. Old pigeons. Oh no. Bird, hidden bird power up is invaluable for this final section. So look, look at this garbage. You have to platform over that. Then you look at look at this. You have a one tile landing strip to land on. Get me out. Stupid man.
Ready for the final level? 4-4, baby, here we go. Oh my goodness. This game is so mean. <laughs> I hate it. I hate this game so much. It is so mean. Uh-oh. Oh no. Okay, now I'm too fast. I'm clipping into walls. Okay. I think the majority of this level is dedicated to platforming and dodging. Not necessarily to... Oh man. Vicious beast. Concentrate. Oh, I don't even think this is a power up. It's not. Okay. Ready to see the final boss of the game? I might not be able to do it with just the boomerang, but uh, we'll give it a go. Go! So what do we get from all of our ridiculous hard work? We get pooped out at the beginning of 1-1 and have to start all over, except we have, you know, our high score and our lives and whatever weapon we ended with. So yeah, it's, it's basically nothing but a stupid score attack game. Well, anyways, my fingers and hands are locked up and that was actually pretty good, getting it in about one hour. Of course, using save states from the beginning of each section but still so in closing were you able to find the easter egg triceratops if not press rewind and rewatch this video thanks everyone so much for watching and until next time this is <clears throat> games before your time